Kevin Duffy, what are your concerns about this development, Croce development? Well, I suppose my main concern is that were it to go ahead, and I'm confident it's not going to because we're going to defeat it, um, it would really make it impossible for not just me but for many of my neighbours to continue living in this beautiful place. And there is a cruel irony really in the fact that my family have lived here continuously for 200 years. Uh, they've survived the famine, they've survived the landlords, they've survived the black and tans lining my grandfather and uncles up on the ditch in a mock execution. And yet Quilcher have walked up my lane and they've presented me with a greater threat than all of those because were that to happen, it won't, but were it to happen, we would have no alternative but to turn the key on the house and walk away, which is be tragic and we live in such a beautiful place here and uh, we're carrying on a tradition that our family have continued we don't use chemicals on the land and I suppose the other thing I would say is that people very often it's human nature think um, they're just NIMBYs well NIMBY may stand for not in my backyard but it also means or could be an acronym for, next it might be you. And I think it's really important that communities come together to fight this because it's a bad thing. These turbines are very, very bad for people's health. They don't contribute anything to reducing our carbon emissions, or very, very little. And people need to be looking at the issue, not of renewables, but of emissions. And once they educate themselves, as we have, a little, we've got more to learn, uh, they'll learn that they're not part of the solution, but they're actually adding to the problem.